Oftentimes when we talk about organ donation, we hear the stories about doctors and donors, but an important part of the transplant process is the transportation of the organ. A lot of people don't even think about that yeah. process. And New Six's Carol uh, at Nine, Carolina Cardona, she tells us one local aviation company is helping hospitals in three states get results for hundreds of patients. Time is of an essence when it comes to organ transportation. We met one local pilot who's helping save lives by transporting medical teams and organs to those who need a second chance at life. Feel like you're giving something back. It's not just anything Mark Neubauer is giving back. He's part of a team of pilots at Air Unlimited that makes the gift of life happen. His organs only have a certain amount of life expectancy outside the body. That's why these pilots are on call 24-7 and ready to fly as soon as the hospital calls. Very well rehearsed uh, from the point in time that they get on board the airplane to when the engine starts to how we get out, pick up those crews and we wait on the ground for all of the uh, harvesting to occur and then for the surgical teams to respond back to the airplane. Five years ago, Mark and his business partner started their charter company, Air Unlimited, to fly people to the islands in the Bahamas from Sanford Airport. A few years later, they realized there was also a need to transport surgical teams from hospitals not just in Florida, but New Orleans and Atlanta too. Donate Life Florida estimates more than 5,000 children and adults are waiting for life-saving organ transplants in the state. It isn't just about moving people from one place to another that there are backstories mm -hmm. and with the organs uh, involved in this in finding that you're playing some small part about giving someone an extension of the gift of life, mm -hmm. uh, that makes you feel pretty good inside. We went on board one of the aircrafts that's mainly used for these types of missions. This jet goes up to 45,000 feet at a speed of 400 knots. That's roughly 460 miles per hour. As we can get over a lot of the weather and we can also get there in the shortest period of time possible. Of course, the speed is important, mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially when you're, you're dealing with uh, time-sensitive organs. Mark, who's been a pilot for about 35 years, still remembers that first delivery when it was just him and an organ in the plane. It would happen to be a liver, and I remember the, the stark look of the package, and it wasn't really significant to me until I actually handed it over to the, uh, the technician and sign for it and realize that that's going to change somebody's life. And that, that had an emotional impact on me realizing it wasn't just a mission. Throughout the last couple of years, Air Unlimited has conducted dozens of these organ transportation missions throughout the eastern half of the United States. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. What a neat story. And, you know, Carolina actually told us he has not met all of the recipients yet, but he, something he'd like to do. Could you imagine just being eye to eye and you have this invaluable thing in mm -hmm. your life saving in your plane and to think of the stories behind it? Yeah. And, and actually, he was saying it's sort of bittersweet, too, because you have one family over here who's really grieving the loss mm -hmm. of somebody but they're able to give this precious gift. And then on the receiving end is a person who's so thankful to get it. Mm -hmm. Amazing uh, work. Uh, great story. Really amazing I love hearing work. about that.